we mentioned earlier the uh, letters, uh, Mr. Chairman, you mentioned that we had received some letters regarding opposition to the Mahalia pipeline. I do want to mention, as we said last time, that we've been working um, with um, the Mahalia you know, folks trying to un better understand what's going on. We are, we are working on finalizing a uh, really a statement around uh, MLGW's position and the excerpts of which um, I'll just share real briefly, and then I'll ask Cheryl to give you any comments that you may want to that she may want to share from a from a legal perspective. But um, as I think I mentioned last time, we're firmly committed to the uh, delivering safe and high quality drinking water to our communities. Since our employees live and work here, of course, uh, our values, of course, inspire us to be a leader in trying to improve our community. So uh, I do want to mention too that uh, MLGW has limited authority around the permitting process. I know there have been some questions around what we could do. We are still working on that or looking into that, trying to better understand uh, how this uh, proposed location could impact um, um, the water supply. I've referenced those various comments you have, Mr. Chairman, um, and we also know that the viability of our community, as you may imagine, depends on a number of commodities uh, being transported in various ways, including through underground pipelines, and that's for a lot of different, uh, a lot of different commodities. Um, so, you know, our longstanding commitment to deliver this uh, high quality drinking water is our guiding principle. And so we generally are opposed to any routing of the pipeline through the uh, protection area around our wells. And, and if this project proceeds, we would expect the owners, uh, developers of the Bahia pipeline, as well as any related entities to uh, implement all available safety measures uh, to protect the groundwater supply. And we are currently pursuing commitments from them as to what measures need to be uh, considered. Cheryl, did you want to add anything to that? I don't have much to add at this point. I think uh, you covered it. Okay. So we just know, just know that we remain engaged uh, in this process and uh, we'll continue to do so.